Impact Vikings. As you might know, I'm Isabel. And I'm Jordan. If you might not know, this is our last broadcast of the school year. No. It's okay, though. We're going to have a great one. Yeah. And our first story is about Steam Night, where our sixth graders showed off their skills. Let's roll the clip. Hi Vikings, I'm here with Mr. Thorpe and Miss Madler and we're going to be interviewing them about Steam Night. So how exactly did this get um, put together? Steam Night uh, was put together because uh, sixth graders do not do science fair so it was put in sort of as a way for sixth graders to be uh, more creative uh, with their science learning. Any other things? No, that's about it. Uh, we're just doing this to support Mr. Uh, or Coach Bailey, and we hope that the boys are doing great at their soccer game. Um, what's your favorite part about hosting Steam Night? Uh, seeing the kids, and you can sort of uh, pan around and see you'll have footage of kids and parents working together. Part of this is to get parents up here and working with the kids and kind of see what school looks like uh, when they uh, aren't here. So it's getting them involved and participating. And then for incoming sixth graders next year, um, what would you say to convince them to do Steam Night next year? I would say that it's an um, awesome way just to work with your friends and it gets them using their problem solving skills to try and solve different situations. So it would be something interest interesting for the incoming sixth graders to kind of witness and hopefully they get to see this broadcast to see how much fun they're all having. And then is there anything else you would like the people to know about Steam Night? Uh, go Vikings! Good job Vikings, that seemed really fun. We also had our 7th and 8th graders in Pentathlon. Let's see what happened. Hello, I'm Rhea Kumar from the Vienna Broadcast Team, and I'm here today with Ms. Roberts, a coach for Pentathlon. Can you explain to us what uh, Pentathlon is? So, Pentathlon is an academic competition. There are five different uh, things that we study as a group and as a team, and then on Academic Pentathlon Day, we go and we compete um, in those five events. So, we've got social science, literature, math, science, and then super quiz. Um, can you tell us some highlights uh, from Pentathlon? So some highlights from just the year, we met every Thursday, so we would always have good meetings, taking quizzes, and preparing, and getting our rankings, and then Pentathlon Day, we had um, a first place finisher, a second place finisher in eighth grade, and then a first, second, and third place finishers um, with some of our students in seventh grade. Um, our super quizzes went really well, and uh, we just did, had a really good showing at our regional competition. What's another thing, another thing that you guys, do you think uh, Pentathlon did really well? Uh, so I really think that we kind of came together as a team. Um, our seventh graders worked really hard together to make sure that they were ready for uh, our competition day. Our eighth grade team did a really good job of showing up on competition day and performing uh, to their highest standards. They studied outside of the um, meeting days and they really prepared themselves well to um, make a good showing at competition. Okay, thank you for letting me interview you. And that's a wrap on interview section. I'm Rhea Kumar signing off. What was that? What has Pentathlon taught you this year? So I learned a lot about the 1960s that I didn't know before, like what artists were popular during that time. And in the science section, we learned about light, and I didn't know um, how, I didn't realize how much I didn't know about that. So um, Pentathlon not only taught me about um, the 1960s, but I also learned a lot about how to format your essays and like different math skills and science. We had a blockbuster come out a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, the live action Dumbo movie. No, it's Endgame. There was a live action Dumbo movie? Yeah, well, whatever. Let's see our wave segment on Endgame. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Catherine from the wave team. Today we're looking at Marvel's Endgame trailer. Let's check it out. God, seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. 
became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. like this one. <laughs> wow, that movie looks pretty cool, but the trailer seems kind of sad. Yeah, the part where Iron Man was talking to the helmet or Pepper Potts is sad, but I can assure you that... Hey, no spoilers for the movie. Sorry. Anyway, it's weird how the only color in some parts of the trailer was red. Yeah, that part was very weird, but I did love the cinematic part where they were all in white suits. That was pretty cool, but I do wonder how Captain Marvel will help the rest of the Avengers. I wonder that too before watching it. Her character does play a big part in the movie though, even though you might not realize it. I'm so excited. Yeah, but... Jack, I'm going to kill you. Why? I said no spoilers, okay? You can't kill me even if you wanted to. I'm cardboard. Ugh, I don't care. Bye. Sorry about that. Back to you, Isabel and Jordan. Yeah, I haven't seen Endgame, but it seems pretty interesting. Have you watched the 20 other Marvel movies that came before this? Uh, no, I haven't. You'll need a while to catch up. Yeah, I do. But you don't have to catch up on our soccer games, because we got you covered. Our soccer teams have had a great season this year. Let's take a look. Those were some great games, Vikings. But we're still not done with our amazing students. Let's take a look at our fine arts section. Our VMS Choir had their end of the year concert May 8th. Their theme this year was a sing was Singapore, a more casual and chill concert.
this year. Well, first of all, welcome to the last concert of the year. We have a guest um, bassist, Mr. Bob in the back, and then we have Mr. Prime in the back. He's going to play drum set with us today on several pieces. from history. Why don't we take a look and see what they've done. Seventh grade recently experienced a vertically integrated business course. They learned all about starting a new company and how to market that company and their products. They presented their projects in a Shark Tankish format. I still feel like we haven't covered enough about our Vikings. I mean, this is our last broadcast, so why not end of the bang? I feel the same, except we still have a little time left, so why don't we watch the TikTok videos that our students sent to us? Sure. Drip, 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 drip. Yes, something for my wrist, 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 wrist. Paparazzi sound like click, 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 click. Night yeah. Hey, Julie, heard you got that drip, 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 drip. Yes, something for my wrist, 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 wrist. Paparazzi sound like click, 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 click. from the Vienna Broadcast, and today I'm here with the pro singer, Tamari Perkins. So when did you learn that you can sing? Um, about a week ago. A week ago. How long have you been singing? Um, not too long. Not too long. Alright, and would you like to show us some live footage of you singing? I'm sure. Okay. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry. No more. And I'm out. <laughs> I'm still a little skeptical about the broadcast. What's going to happen next year? Don't worry, we got a great new team. And we can go meet them now. So, how do you exactly like 
figure out what segments you're going to do for the broadcast. Okay, so um, at the beginning of every week, like uh, a few, like after we finish the previous broadcast and we're working on the next one, we'll pitch in ideas. Kind of something else that we like take segments from. Yeah. Sometimes it's just we walk around, we see things, and we also take a lot of things from the year before, like the questionnaire which I did last year. Um, student highlights, challenge. So at the beginning of the year, we, like Miss Kennedy made us like yeah. Yeah. do a lot of things and interviews. And I guess the main point if you want to do a good interview is come up with good questions, like interesting questions. Like, if you yeah, want to ask ask someone about, like, let's say you're interviewing a teacher, you're like, what do you teach? I teach blah, blah, blah. Wow, that's cool. I miss about <laughs> signing off. That's boring. You can ask them, like, what's your favorite donut? So the main thing is it's not about staying exactly to the script that you wrote. The main thing is you listen to what they say, and then whatever comes naturally, like whatever you would say to anybody in a normal conversation, you just go with that, and then if uh, your next question happens to come up, then you just say it. As a great end to our last broadcast, we have Amy to interview each of our broadcast members. Take it away, Amy. So as you all know, this is our last broadcast of the year. We have had some good times this year, and we will definitely miss you all. We wish you all goodbye and an outstanding next year. Let's go talk to our members and see what they have to say individually so that they can all wish you goodbye. You did it. You did it. Well, I mean, it was just us. Wait, what are you trying to say? Are you suggesting it was one of us who murdered Fletcher? Who else could it be? <gasps> Gerald! Nah. nah. Well, who else could it have been? Who cares? I'm out of here. <laughs> Y'all can help me knock down the door, right? The door's locked? What are we gonna do? I don't know. Help me knock it down. <sighs> Whoa, Mila, are you okay? Here, drink this. I knew it, someone put poison in here. Okay, so Mila's dead. Why is everyone so chill with this? Wait, isn't it suspicious how Isabel was able to detect the poison so quickly? I'm a professional doctor, so obviously I know what poison dissolved in water smells like. I think you're lying. Detective, what do you think? I think, do you want the better solution or the logical solution? The logical solution? Okay, so one, we forget that either of them, both of them died. Two, hope the police don't arrest us. And three, make a run for it. Okay, well, what's the better solution? I say it's a little bit too soon to make any real conclusions. We should all sit in a circle so we can see each and every one of us. Hey, that actually seems like a good idea. I don't care, I'm leaving. <laughs> who, who, who put Gerald there? Whoa, he's dead. Nobody move, I think the murderer has set up more traps. Let's see what the detective suggested and sit in a circle. So now what? Let's evaluate the clues. So Fletcher died when the lights were off. That means the murderer was near the light switch. Wait, wasn't Isabel near the door when the lights went off? Me? No, I was over there. Hmm. Then the murderer killed Mila with the poison in her water. And Isabel was able to detect them really quickly. Tossif tripped over the cactus, which someone place by the door. Okay, yeah, let's just all blame me. Wait, where's Luke? What? I have the math test tomorrow. Guess he got inked. Aren't bad puns my job? Wait, it was definitely Isabel. Pew, pew! Well, now that we've killed the murderer, let's get out of here. Crap, it's locked. And 
our phones won't work. I guess we're stuck here. Well, wanna play sticks? Sure. Let's go. I can't believe Jordan just died of the lamp. It doesn't make any sense. We still need to find the murderer. If it wasn't Isabel, who was it? Kyron, it has to be you. You have a gun after all. No, if anything, it's you. You've always hated Jordan. But why would I kill Jordan? I have nothing to kill him. Why would I kill anyone? I don't well, have anything. I mean, to you him. have a gun. Okay, 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 stop. I'm so done with you. Let's get this over with. So sorry about that, we won't be able to interview the members separately, but I know if they would have, they would have told you one thing. This isn't the last show! <laughs> See you guys next time. That was a good break. Yeah. I'm just glad I'm not dead anymore. Yeah. So what are we going to do about our last broadcast? I don't know. Maybe have like a highlight reel of our finest moments. Yeah. Oh wait, the camera's still rolling. <laughs>